Hey guys, Brother James here. Just want to give you a video message here. Once again, from the truck, thank you for uh, tuning in to this channel tonight. I just had some things again on my heart. I just It seems like it's, it's feast or famine with me. There's some some uh, weeks I won't post or do video. It's whatever the Lord lays something on my heart, I'm going to share it. Um, this is a message going to be about the simplicity of Christ. That's what my channel name is about. SOC is Simplicity of Christ. And I had a gentleman uh, ask some questions about these verses, a parable of um, the, the Pharisee and the publican in Luke 18. And when I was reading it, it really brought forth, in my mind, the simplicity that is in Christ. And also, in this parable, uh, Jesus talks about self-righteousness okay and so let's just go to the parable it's, it's Luke 18 and starting in verse 9 it says and he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves mark that which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised other verse 10 says two men went up into the temple to pray the one a Pharisee and the other a publican the Pharisee stood and prayed Thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican, standing afar off, would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Verse 14, Jesus says, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For every for every one that exalts himself shall be abased, and he that humbles himself shall be exhausted. Exa uh, exalted, exalted. And they brought unto him also infants, and that he would touch them. But when his disciples saw, saw it, they rebuked them. But Jesus called them unto himself and said, Suffer little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall no wise enter therein. And as you can see in the uh, publican, um, as he, all he can say is, is, Forgive me, Father. You know, um, he says, what's he say? He would not lift up his eyes uh, unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. That's all it took. You see, it's the simplicity of Christ that saves, and it's the simplicity of Christ that keeps you saved. And he's talking about self-righteous people. Okay, notice notice all the I statements in the Pharisee. When Let's read it again. It's the Pharisee stood, afar, uh, stood and prayed thus with himself. God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week. I give in tithes of all that I possess. Okay, there's a lot of I statements there. So I want to take you back. Who else gave a lot of I statements? Let's look in Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12. This is why I call the false gospels a Luciferian-based gospel because look what Lucifer said. Isaiah first, verse 14, uh, chapter 14, verse 12, it says, How art thou fallen from, o heaven, from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which is weak as the nations? For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake the kingdoms? So, as you can see, Lucifer with his eye statements, and that's what I call the repenting of sins, the self-righteousness, I pave all my tithes, I do this and I do that, is a false gospel, Luciferian gospel, man-centered gospel. So let's go 
So we, so I showed you in, in the parable, not only the self-righteousness will not get you justified, but as you come to God as a little child, as you can see the publican came at the end of himself, he knows he's a sinner and on his way to a devil's hell, okay? But all he just said, be merciful to me, a sinner. So who else, who else in the scriptures had displayed uh, humility like that is probably gonna let's go just go to over uh, to the right Luke let's go in the same book Luke chapter um, let's say 23 verse 39 you don't see the thief on the cross the malefactors on the cross and one of the malefactors which were hanged railed on him saying if thou be Christ save thyself and us but the other answering rebuked him saying dost thou not fear God seeing thou art in the same condemnation and we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds, but this man hath done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. And as you can see, it's the simplicity of Christ that saves, and it's the simplicity of Christ that keeps you saved. It's not your self-righteousness, folks. It's not your repenting of your sins and your, well, I was water baptized, so therefore I am justified. No. No. You are baptized into Christ by the agency of the Holy Spirit. Okay? It is Christ alone that saves. All right? Everything else is a Luciferian, man-centered gospel. Once you are indwelt the Holy Spirit, you are ready for rapture. Okay? Well, as soon as you believe, the moment that you believe the gospel, the death, burial, and the resurrection of Christ alone for your salvation, okay, you, you have a sin debt. You have to realize, come at the end of yourself, like the publican and like the thief on the cross, knowing you're on your way to a devil's hell if you don't have Christ. If you, don't, if you don't place your trust in the death, burial, and the resurrection of Christ alone and for your salvation. Christ paid the sin debt. You cannot pay it with your self-righteous works. will not work. It will not fly with Jesus. Okay? In Matthew, well, what would Matthew say? In the book of Matthew. Okay? You know, you have your false prophets and, you, and, your, and your good folks, your self-righteous folks. They come and say, Lord, Lord, what? what's going on? You know, let me in. Haven't I prophesied in your name? Haven't I casted out all these devils and demons in your name? Have I done all these wonderful works? What did Jesus say? Depart, me, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you. He never knew them in the first place. He never had a relationship with Christ. Now, this is why my channel exists, to bring forth the simplicity of Christ that saves. If you've been going to church... And you're sitting under a false gospel, and you you prayed a, a sinner's prayer, okay? Repenting of all your sins to be saved, uh, getting water baptized to be saved, beloved. You're still in a state of unbelief. You're believing in your own works. You're believing in your all your I statements, okay? You believed in a Luciferian false gospel. All right. Let go of that and say, you know what? It is Christ that saves. God, I place all my trust in you. You provided a way out for me. Okay. Now there's God gives us grace. But is there a grace? Is there grace in a false gospel? You now you want to say, well, God, you know, um, I uh I believe 90% that was you know that you saved, but I had to, thought I had to do my own part, you know. No, there's gonna be no excuses. Do you really want to take that chance, you know, with Jesus? No, it is Christ alone. Naked we come into this world, naked we go out. Come to him dirty. But anyway, this is just a quick video message. Um, I get fired up when I hear people want to backload, front load, back load the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is Christ alone that saves by itself. Okay? It's not your self-righteous works. Alright? Once you're saved, you're always saved. Once you're sealed, you're always sealed. Once you're a child of God, you are always a child of God. Once you're indwelt the Holy Spirit, you are ready for rapture. There's no fear. You say, well, let me keep my oil lamps filled and all this kind of garbage. No, it is Christ alone that saves, that seals you. Okay? Period. You are on your way to the through the rapture if you bleed the death, burial, and the resurrection of Christ alone 
for your salvation. It is Christ alone. So anyway, I hope that made sense. And sorry I get a little tongue tongue uh, tongue tied after work, after working in, in uh, the IT department after all day long. Your brain gets kind of tired, and I get a little tongue tied. So please forgive me on that. But anyway, just a quick video message tonight. I hope all is well. Love you guys, and uh, thank you again for the new subscribers. I hope you enjoy the channel. Uh, thank you for those that are that post and ask questions. It's, it's good. It's good to ask questions, and thank you for being respectful. And uh, I'll just catch up with you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye.